Okay, so for this challenge, I've kept some of the code uh, from the previous challenge just to shorten the length of this video so you're not watching me uh, repeat steps. Uh, now, the challenge asks us to have two sprites that are actually interacting with each other, so I'm going to have to add a second sprite. Um, I want that to be a character, so let's go for people. And let's go with Aladdin, why not? I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to place Aladdin on my um, stage. Now, what I'd like to do actually is, oh, you'll notice my code's gone. That's because this is now the script zone for Aladdin. And Aladdin doesn't have any code yet. So I'm going to move back to my panda by clicking on that sprite double clicking on that sprite or by selecting the sprite in this um, in this sprite pane. So I'm back on Bob. Um, I want to know how far Bob uh, actually walks from left to right. So I'm only going to use my left to right code and I'm going to hit the green flag and that should show us Bob walking and then once that code is executed we should see X get to 20 and as soon as Bob's there the code will stop and that's where I want him to interact with Aladdin. So I know exactly where Aladdin's going to need to be. He needs to be there. Finally, I'm going to uh, move back to my panda code. So my panda is going to go from left to right, Bob. Um, and then once he gets there, I want Aladdin to say something. Now, the way that I'm going to have to do that well, I think actually I can broadcast this as a message. So I'm going to go broadcast message one. I think maybe let's make a new. So let's say um, I'm going to call this message um, Panda reaches Aladdin. I've actually forgotten how to spell Aladdin. There we go, Aladdin. Okay, so broadcast the pandas reached Aladdin. Now at the end, I do want my panda to say something to Aladdin. So when my panda gets to the end as well, we're going to say hello. Um, maybe do you still have your lamp? Let's say that for two seconds and I'm going to broadcast panda reaches Aladdin. Now moving over to Aladdin's code and moving to events, I'm going to say, when I receive Panda reaches Aladdin, then I want Aladdin to say, that old thing, I left it at the bus stop. Okay, so let's run our code and see what happens. I want my Panda back at zero. And let's see if I've got him interacting with Aladdin. So my panda should move forward 20 steps. And then as soon as X gets to 20, he should say, hello, do you still have your lamp? And then Aladdin says, that old thing, I left it at the bus stop. And I feel like that disappeared a bit quickly. So I'm gonna go back to Aladdin's code and I'm gonna say, why don't you, why don't you say that for maybe twice as long, let's go for four seconds. Okay, now I did say that we need a scene, we need a background. So I'm gonna to move to backgrounds now and I'm going to click on new background. Um, now let's go for outdoors. I wonder if we've got a nice desert scene because um, Aladdin is sort of known for being um, in Persia, right? So let's click on Desert 1. And that looks pretty good, but I think what we want is for both of our panda and Aladdin to be down on the ground. Now, the best way to do that would be to go to Sprites and to change the Y value of my panda, because I don't want to change the X value. Remember, I want, him to st I want my panda to start at X0. I don't know what Y value I need. Now remember, downwards for Y would be negative. So let's try negative 150. That's a bit too far. So let's go for negative 100. That's just right. 
Okay, and I want Aladdin also at Y negative 100 so that he's on the ground with Bob as well. So if I hit run now, I've got Bob walking through the desert until he reaches Aladdin. And then as soon as he reaches Aladdin, he should say, hey, where's your lamp? Do you still have your lamp? And then Aladdin says for a little bit longer, that old thing I left at the bus stop. Okay, that's perfect. So then I need my scene change. So what's gonna happen then is after, let's go for events. And I, oh, I don't want to be on Aladdin. I'm actually now coding for my background. Okay. So when the green flag is clicked, I want the desert one backdrop. Okay. So when that's clicked, um, I want the backdrop to be desert. So we walk through the desert and then one of the events we've got is the um, panda reaches Aladdin. So when panda reaches Aladdin, first of all, we want to give a bit of time for Aladdin to say what he needs to say. And we know that that happens for four seconds. So I'm going to wait four seconds and then I'm going to switch to um, a new backdrop. So I'm going to go to costumes and I'm going to add a new backdrop. Now remember Aladdin said the lamp was at the bus stop. So let's open the bus stop um, backdrop and add that. So now we've got a bus station backdrop. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to say right when Panda reaches Aladdin wait four seconds and then switch to the bus stop backdrop. So let's try that. Let's go back to sprites. Again, I want my panda Bob to be at X zero and let's run that code. So Bob walks towards Aladdin and then as soon as he reaches Aladdin, he should say, hey, where's the lamp? And then Aladdin says, that old thing I left at the bus stop. And then we switch to the bus stop. Perfect. Now, I don't actually want Aladdin to be in this scene. So I'm going to say that as soon as Aladdin says that old thing I left it at the bus stop, then I want him to disappear. So I'm going to hide Aladdin as soon as he said that. Now, I'm actually going to change my panda's um, steps. I'm going to make him walk a bit faster because it's taking time to run this code. So I'm actually going to say every point 0.1 second, um, I want the weight to be. So that should be a lot faster. Let's see what that looks like. It's probably going to be ridiculously quick now. So let's have a look. Okay. Hey, do you have your lamp? That old thing I left at the bus stop. And then Aladdin should hide. He should disappear. And the panda should be at the bus stop. Now, we did say that at the next scene, the character should um, in, uh, should interact with another sprite. I don't know, actually, if there's a lamp sprite. So let's have a look. Let's see if under props we've got anything that resembles a lamp. I'd be surprised if we had an Aladdin um, sprite and we didn't have a lamp. That would surprise me. Um, now, rather than spend loads of time looking for the lamp, I'm actually going to use something similar. I am going to use a kettle. Or oh, actually, no, let's, let's have a look. Just at the last page of props. And actually, I don't see a lamp. Maybe, maybe you guys will find a lamp um, whilst you're looking through the props. I'm going to stick with my kettle. Um, I'm going to put that into my scene. And just as we change scene, um, what I'm going to do is broadcast a new message. So I'm going to go to um, events and I'm going to broadcast uh, a new message 
which is going to be uh, Panda goes to bus stop and hit OK. All right. So now I want my kettle when the event, so when I receive Panda goes to bus stop, I want my kettle to say, uh, what do we want the kettle to say? Uh, let's say, I'm not a lamp, sorry. I can make you a cup of tea. And we'll say that because that's quite a long sentence. So let's say that for six seconds. Okay. <laughs> so let's try that. Uh, let's again move Bob, my panda, back to zero. And let's run that code. So let's hit the green flag. So Bob, ooh. Ah, okay, so what's the problem here? Well, let's stop our code first, and let's move back to kettle. The problem is that our kettle isn't hidden. So we want the kettle to be hidden uh, as soon as it loads. So this show box here, we've never actually talked about this, but we're gonna hide our kettle, and we're gonna have a looks event that says, to show the kettle when Panda goes to the bus stop. Okay, so let's go back to our Panda. Let's put him back at X is zero. Um, and let's hit run. Oh. Now Aladdin is hidden. So we want to change Aladdin so that he's showing. And we want to now again, move our panda back to zero. So we need to keep making sure that we're tog toggling our show icons. Now you could do this with code actually. You could say, um, in fact, let's just do it quickly. When uh, the green flag is clicked, we want Aladdin, because I'm in Aladdin's code right now. We want Aladdin under looks to be shown. Okay, and we could do the same for the kettle. We could say when the green flag is clicked, um, we want for looks the kettle ooh, to be hidden and that means we can stop worrying now about sprites popping up and being there because of previously run code. So Bob's at zero, let's hit run and hopefully we've got our scene. So Bob walks towards Aladdin and then says, hello, do you still have your lamp? Aladdin says, that old thing, I left it at the bus stop, scene. Bob is at the bus stop and the lamp says, I'm not a lamp, sorry, but I can make you a cup of tea. And at that, I think it's finally time for me to stop this video and to make myself a cup of tea. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you at the next slide.